I am not a financial advisor. The information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a extremely high dividend yield ETF that I believe pays monthly dividends over 10% yield and it is an uh, basically an a fund of funds mostly but we'll go over and see what it's talking about um, so if you're new here please like share subscribe do all that good stuff down in the comment uh, pinned down below there is my Amazon link so if you're gonna be doing some Christmas shopping click on that link and you can go complete your shopping session at no extra cost to you when you're done Amazon will send me a small commission on qualified purchases at no extra cost to you so it's just a win-win to be able to support this channel also down there's uh, my Teespring link go check out some cool gear that I've designed um, down in the description box is an M1 Finance referral link, Robinhood referral link, all that good stuff. Just a ways to be able to support the channel and support what I do, and I would appreciate it. So, what are we looking at today? Today we are looking at an interesting ETF called HIPS. H-I-P-S is the ticker symbol, and it is an ETF... Uh, issued by Granite Shares, and I'll leave the link down below. Now, what they describe it as is a high income ETF, and we'll go over the fund objective. I was going to go through um, Fidelity uh, and do my normal walkthrough, but I don't think Fidelity is updated with this. This is a very small fund, fairly new, it's about five years old. Um, but it hasn't really gotten traction. I think it only has like 10 or $11 million of assets under management. So we'll go through it. I'll give you my thoughts and all that stuff. So what is the fund objective? Well, it's to seek to track the performance before fees and expenses of the TFMS HIPS index. And I think uh, Granite Shares actually... Um, came up with this index if you all are familiar with uh, Jimmy over at learn to invest he had a hand in making this uh, index uh, I think his if I remember correctly from watching one of his videos his grandfather uh, either owns his granite shares or is a big part of granite shares or something of that nature don't quote me on that because I don't know the exact details but there was a big shift the way this thing works and Jimmy was responsible for how uh, the, this changed, I think, in 2019. So I think Fidelity might have some old information um, because this used to track uh, over 300 stocks of so the highest yielding stocks, closed end funds, MLPs, REITs, um, uh, business development companies in America. Now they've got it down to 60 and they have added a financial screen of some sort but i haven't been able to find exactly how it's done but so it's basically an alternative income etf so four categories is what it is uh, exposed to mlps master limited partnerships which are mainly in energy um, REITs, business development companies, and closed-end funds. Excuse me, I've done a lot of uh, videos, not a lot, but I've done some videos on closed-end funds. Um, they do have some pitfalls. You have to be careful picking closed-end funds. Um, so check out my playlist on closed-end closed, closed -end funds. I, I go over some of my favorites. Um, yes, it does pay a monthly distribution. Uh, seeks constant distribution so hips has maintained a 10.75 cent distribution per share each month since since inception which was uh, july 1st 2015. Uh, usually with mlps you will get a k1 tax form uh, because this is in etf format 
uh, you do not get a K-1 tax form. So over 50% of the HIPS distributions historically have been treated as return of capital and it does not generate a K-1. So a return of capital is basically your money coming back to you. Um, it's classified as your money coming back to you. It may not literally be, um, but that is actually very tax efficient because when your distribution is um, returned to you as a return of capital, you cannot be taxed on it. So because it's your money, so you can't be taxed on it twice. So what it would happen to what would it would what would it effectively do is when you get your distribution, it will uh, your broker should lower the cost basis of your shares. So we'll look at it. Uh, management fees. Very high. 0 0.70 per year. Acquired fund fees and other expenses. 0 0.60 per year with a total expense ratio of 1.3. Why is that? Why, what is this right here? This is the ETF holding closed end funds. So it's like ETFs holding ETFs, but they're holding closed end funds. So not only are you paying uh, the ETF creator, which is Granite Shares, their management fee, you are also paying the management fees and expenses of the closed end funds that they hold. Hope that makes sense. So the total is 1.3%. And I find that a little odd to me because some of these um, closed end funds have some real high expense ratios. Most of them do. That's not a surprising thing. Closed end funds have high expense ratios. Um, but it seemed to me, it would seem like because 40% of their portfolio is in closed end funds, I would think the total expense ratio would be higher than this. But I, I, I'm not gonna go through every single closed end fund and do the math. Um, right now it's trading as of October 6, $11.94 a share. Uh, monthly distribution. So here's the top 10 fund exposures. And we'll look at that, see 39.6% in closed end funds, 28.8 in asset management and BDCs, 17.8 in REITs, 12.6 in MLPs, and cash and cash equivalents of 1.2%. And their top 10 is all closed end funds. I wanted to look at a couple of these. Um, I took their top one and their uh, number 10. So their number one holding is the Western Asset Global High Income. It is trading at a discount currently. 8.29% uh, distribution rate. Wanted to see what these expense ratios were. This one uses 30% leverage and it has a total expense ratio of 2.73%. And their number 10 holding was this Advent Convertible and Income Fund. Um, it's trading at a big discount right now. Pays almost a 10% distribution rate. Has a 36% leverage and has a 4.11% expense ratio. So to me, it seems like they're picking some good ones because um, I always like to have my closed end funds when I buy them trading at a discount. So the, the ones that I've looked at um, are pretty good. Um, distribution. Distribution is monthly, mostly all return of capital. Performance has been uh, pretty dismal. Um, we look at uh, one year, it is down 20, almost 20, 23 and a half percent one year return year to date, 27.26%. Um, you know, you got to look at all the, you got to look at what it's in closed end funds, uh, asset management and BDCs took a beating this year. REITs took a beating MLPs took a beating. So you know, this is not surprising. I looked at the chart 
and uh, hips dropped over 50% in the March um, March drop but you know the income stayed so that is a plus now um, that being said you know they this does have because it's been beaten down it's only recovered about 25% of its 50% drop um, if we do get uh, our country back going again you know MLPs you know could be uh, a beneficiary so can REITs especially um, asset management and business development companies if people start you know because their BDCs are, are reliant on a healthy economy everything is here so um, you could be a contrarian here and, and buy into this but uh, I don't like that it is so small so if I was looking at the fidelity side it says it has 7.64 million uh, in assets under management uh, trading volume of only 6,000 and that's 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 very low uh, Morningstar has it as a one star rated ETF so I would pass on this um, there's another one that is similar to this which is called uh, PCEF a lot of you probably under know this one I'll probably do a video on it it's ticker symbol PCEF it's also a fund of funds and I'm usually not a big fan of fund of funds so anyway those are my uh, thoughts I'm not a big fan um, it could be a contrarian play though um, because it's been beat down so much uh, let me know your thoughts down below like share subscribe do all that good stuff and we'll talk to you later thanks bye bye